Hey everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here once again. Today's video is called, Do You Struggle With Rejection? Well, I think we all do from time to time. Let's think about it from a business presentation or sales presentation perspective, and let's see how it works. Well, first off, there's four ways that you can avoid struggling with rejection. One is to exude confidence, to be confident, to feel confident. If you exude confidence, then people, um, people tend to want to be around confident people. They tend to want to buy from confident people. And you ever look at the, um, what, what seems on the surface like a mismatch? You look at a guy and you look at a girl and you're like, how did that guy get that girl? And I, I'll guarantee you it's one thing. He's confident. And confidence goes a long way. So let's talk about why it's good in business. Well, confidence implies that you've got the ability to lead others through their issues. And confidence implies you can actually do it, right? And then how do you, how do you exude confidence? Well, you, you can walk tall, walk confidently. A confident, firm handshake is great. A confident smile, you know, like, hey, you know, don't come on, like, oh, hey, what do I, you know, like, hey, yeah, you know, you know, whatever. But a confident smile, confident handshake, and confident demeanor, confident presentation in your talk, and people will pay attention to you. But you know, if, if you go in there and go, hey, with a limp handshake, you know, hey, you wouldn't want to buy from me, would you? Guess what? Probably not. So go go with confidence, go with a confident smile, and you know, I think you'll do better. So it's a short trip though from confidence to arrogance and narcissism. So people don't like arrogant and narcissistic people. So don't take that trip. Just make sure you keep it on the on confidence, right? And, and remember, you're there, number two. Remember that you're there as a resource to help them with their problems and their issues. So you're there because you're a resource. You're, you can be confident in that, right? You can be comfortable with that. And if, if they don't know you and they reject you, well, how can you take that personally? They're not rejecting you personally. They're rejecting the situation that you happen to bring in at the moment, you know. So if they do know you and then they reject you, then think of, of no is more like not yet. You know, it doesn't mean necessarily it's over forever. All right, number three, you're looking for a win-win relationship. So, you know, now I got a, a spoiler, spoiler alert here for you is sometimes that can't happen. So you go in, you're, you're, uh, you're reaching out to them to see if there's a good fit for you, your business, your product, and, and their company or them personally. And um, sometimes there's not, you know. So you say, you know, they say no, and you move along to the next prospect. You just dust your britches off and keep going. You know, it's, there's a, you know, SW, you've heard me say this before, SW, 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 and some will, some won't. So what? Next. Just keep going. Go to the next one, right? Um, learn from rejection, a.k.a. no. That's number four. So, you know, when somebody says no, you want to learn from it. You know, is it a bad fit? Is it a bad time? Um, am I calling on the wrong person or company? You also revisit based on the knowledge that you get from that and refine your strategy. Okay? So now in summary, you, you want to be a smiling, confident resource looking for a win-win relationship. If they say no, then learn from that and move on to the next one, right? Next. So here's two examples I like about people who overcame no and were rejected many times and overcame it, and, and you'll know who they are, okay? So you, I use these sometimes to inspire me when I'm, when I'm feeling a little beat up from no rejection and such. Um, you know, after his restaurant and motel burned down, Pretty much all he had to his name was a recipe. He was turned down a thousand and nine times for his recipe. But in the thousand and tenth, Colonel Sanders was able to make Kentucky Fried Chicken into a reality. Yeah, think about that. A thousand and nine. And you, you feel bad you get turned down once or twice, you wimp. <laughs> all right, so then... Um, after presenting his idea, this is a different one, number two, after presenting his idea and being told no by 217 investors, 217 investors, Howard Schultz not only made Starbucks into a reality, he became a billionaire in the process. 
Uh, so two little sayings after that one I like from uh, Zig Ziglar. And he says, timid salesmen, or I say people, timid salespeople have skinny kids. Think about that. And last but not least is from Vince Lombardi, the famous Super Bowl coach of the Green Bay Packers. He said, winners never quit. Quitters never win. So you're a winner. So don't quit. Don't you know, don't worry about the rejection, you know, just dust your britches off, get back out there. No means not yet. It's not about you. And um, you're just trying to help them, help them find a win-win relationship. If they don't appreciate it, well, it's not your problem, is it? So move on to the next one. But remember, never quit. You can't win if you quit. All right, Kenneth G. Hasty here. I'm a professional business growth consultant. I, you can check me out if you want at KennethGHasty.com. You can email me if you'd like at Kenneth at KennethGHasty.com. If you'd like to do some business or talk about some consulting or how I can help your business, uh, you can get a hold of me. I'll leave a link in here, probably in the comments section, where you can uh, you know, sync with my calendar and we can talk on the phone. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Kenneth G. Hasty signing out. Just remember, quitters never win. Winners never quit. You're a winner. Don't forget.